Hello, my name is Peter Raymer, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Postman to call Microsoft Dynamics 365 data entities or services. Now, why would we want to call data entities or services? Very often you might have an integration where you need to send in data into D365 or run some process to get data out. You might have a uh, website where you're pushing in sales orders. Using Postman, Postman is a tool that you can make web calls and test sending those web calls to a system. And so we can use Postman to test our data entities um, without involving the third party uh, integration. And then after we have verified that our data entities or services are working as expected, uh, we can let the third party know exactly um, what URL information and what data format we're sending the data in uh, to make it work. So specifically, I'll be going over this article uh, that I wrote on my website, dynamics365musings.com. The first thing we want to do is Google Postman and download Postman. If we search for downloads, we can download the app. I've already downloaded Postman, and so I'll just bring it up here. First thing we can do is we can create a new um, a new collection by clicking this orange new button up at the top. A collection is a folder for our various test requests. Click demo as a name, click create. Now I've got a folder. The next thing I want to do is click create button again and specify this request button. This lets us create a new get or post or put web request. I'll give it a name of get access token. The very first thing we need to be able to do is get an access token um, from D365. And once we have an access token, we need to use that access token for all subsequent calls to D365 um, to make sure that we're an authorized user making these calls. First thing we need to do is change this dropdown to post. The next thing we need is a URL. Um, the URL will be in this format where this number right here is the directory ID of your D365 environment. This uh, number is retrieved from um, Azure and I go over that in another article. So we paste that here. The rest, the beginning text and the suffix text is hard coded, same every time. The next piece is we can go to the body. Normally, we may want to click raw and enter in data directly this way. Um, but in this case, uh, it's easier if we click, click this radio button and enter values as key value pairs. There's a few pieces of information we need. Um, specifically, we need the client ID and client secret and both of those are retrieved from Azure. So first I'll type in client underscore ID and I'll type in a uh, sample value. The next thing we need is the client secret. Again, I'll type in a made up value for now. And then we need a grant underscore type and that needs to be set to client underscore credentials. And then lastly, we need a scope field. And this value is going to be set to um, the D365 URL followed by um, the text slash dot default. So I'll go ahead and add a bar banner right now so I can paste in our actual values for the scope and the client ID and the client secret. Now that I've done that, I can go over to my headers tab and take off my bars. These all come in by default with our post call. Um, there is one piece that we uh, can change, which is we can add a host and we can set this to login.microsoft.com. 
online.com. Now, when we click send, if it worked correctly, we should get a response with a status of 200 OK, meaning that we got a valid response. And then we will get this long access token um, as part of the response. This is our access token that we need to send in any calls into D365, whether it be a data entity or service call. This access token um, lasts, I believe, about an hour um, or at any it expires you know based on this time frame here um, the last thing that we can do is we can do ourselves a favor and store this access token in a environment variable in uh, postman and that allows us to not have to copy and paste this uh, access token every time we want to use it into any other calls that we've set up in postman so i'll show you how to you can do that now uh, to set up an environment variable, we can go up to this top right here um, and we can lit either select one of our existing environments that we've already set up or we can go to this orange button and click new once more and then click environment. So I'm going to say demo environment to give it a name and then specifically we need to give uh, this postman a variable name to store our access token. I'm gonna to call it access underscore token and I won't give it an initial value or current value. Click add and click add. Now I can select this dropdown and make sure that we're on this environment. The last thing that I need to do is go over to tests and I need to copy a little bit of code that tells the system that whenever there's a response, read the JSON response, find the access token node, grab the value of that access token, and store it into our current um, environment variable. So now if I run this again by clicking send, we'll get another access token. And if I actually click this eye icon up at the top, I can see that it's populated an access token in this variable. Now that we've done that, we're ready to actually make a request call to a data entity um, or D365 service. And I'll cover that next. Thank you very much.